It draws thousands of runners from around the country and brings millions of dollars in revenue to Savannah businesses every year. Yes, it does. And we're talking about the Rock and Roll Marathon. It gets underway tomorrow morning, but tonight preparations for the event are still going on. News News Martin Staunton talked to some of the people who make it happen, and he's joining us live from Hutchinson Island with our top story tonight. <laughs> Good evening to you, Ben, Tina, and everyone out there watching. Racers are registering and taking part in the Health and Fitness Expo that's going on as we speak. But they made a big announcement this afternoon. City leaders and race organizers say they've renewed the contract, bringing the Rock and Roll Marathon back to Savannah for another three years. And so it will run through 2021. And they couldn't do it without all the volunteers here. So we're going to be pushing close to a thousand volunteers who are going to come out and help us out. And we can't do what we do without the, the volunteers. You know, they're really the lifeblood of this event. Volunteers tell us they've been returning every year because they enjoy contributing to something positive for the city. And they love the flexibility of the volunteer schedule. Well, you get whatever you want to give. You get one hour, two hours. You get whatever you do. I'm retired, so I enjoy volunteering. I love it because it does bring a lot of people from all over. We've Canadian people, people from Brazil. It's really made Savannah a united spot uh, for two to three days. Uh, and all the people that come in from the Rock and Roll Marathon. So it's just fantastic for all of us locals to be able to participate in something that really is worldly. The president of Visit Savannah says renewing the contract is a no-brainer because the Rock and Roll Marathon has become the premier athletic event in the hostess city. The Rock and Roll Marathon has kind of established itself as is, is our Super Bowl weekend and, um, and, and really being, you know, the big generator of, of the fall season. So that's a big deal for us. It really is in the sense of so many people at once. Uh, and it shows the pride of Savannah as well because all of us local businesses and us local patrons all accept everybody in such a short period of time and make sure everybody feels at home and is comfortable and welcome. So it is our Super Bowl. Actually, I think we do better than the Super Bowl. So the Rock and Roll Marathon kicks off, well, excuse me, it's not the Super Bowl, but the race will start at 7.30 in the morning. More than 11,000 runners over the course of this weekend, and we're your source for that coverage. Reporting live on Hutchinson Island, I'm Martin Staunton, WSAV News 3.